Hi, it's Jenny with Jenny's Wreath Boutique, and in this video, we're going to be making a beautiful spring floral wreath on a grapevine. And the great thing about this tutorial is I'm offering a kit with it. So if you want to make this exact wreath with these exact materials, most of which are from wholesale suppliers, you can grab a kit while supplies last. First, let's go over the materials for this wreath. I'm using a 14 inch grapevine. I'm using a ruscus stem, and this one is such good quality. I love it so much. Look at that beautiful leaf structure. So cute. The focal point for this wreath is our pink peony. This was in last week's wholesale unboxing and most of you wanted this flower in a wreath kit. So here we are. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I love it so much. We're also going to be using some dogwood. These are also from wholesale. I love them so much. They're so delicate and they have a nice branchy structure and they really complement this. Oh, I love it together. We're using one white anemone. I love that dramatic dark circle. This is also from our wholesale unboxing from last week. I have two stems of eucalyptus, seeded eucalyptus, really good quality. I love these and use them all the time. Maiden hair fern, love them. A couple sedum, and these are super realistic. And look at that purpley pink magenta color. Oh, I love them. Then we have some little dusty miller with some pink berries on the top. It's a different kind of dusty miller, but it really complements the peony. And then we have a white cabbage rose. So pretty. One of these. So for this, I just cut up the ruscus stem. If you order a kit, I'll have it cut up for you to make things easier. We're also using hot glue and a hot glue gun and my favorite wire cutters. All of my favorite wreath making tools are linked in the description under tools. So don't forget that. And if you want a cheat sheet on where all my favorite places to get wreath supplies, both retail and wholesale, I also have a free cheat sheet in the description of this video. I've also already cleaned up the grapevine, so it's ready to go. And this is gonna be a wreath where we have an exposed grapevine. So I'm gonna be putting all the materials on one side and you can hang it many different ways. The first thing is we're gonna add our first layer of greenery. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is glue our stems. I'm starting up here. We're just getting the overall shape of our grapevine. Like I said, this is gonna come like so. So I start on the top and then I will add a piece to the bottom. Don't be afraid to let your florals stick out from the grapevine. It looks so pretty. And this one's gonna go more toward the middle. And then this one toward the bottom. Let's see how this one just naturally flows along the grapevine. So that's a perfect spot. So we're gluing and we're putting them into the grapevine along the grain sideways so nothing sticks out the back. And then this one, just the piece at the bottom, goes right in the middle. Now we're gonna add our second layer of greenery and this is the maidenhair fern and it's naturally kind of droopy, which is good for this kind of wreath because it naturally drapes the way gravity pulls it down, obviously. <laughs> so there are dark green and light green. So I'm just gonna add in the dark green first. I like to add at the top and then the bottom and then in between. Now we're gonna add our two pieces of eucalyptus. I kept these together. You can separate these stems as well if you want more control, but I like just keeping them together. 
And you can twist the leaves around so more of them point forward if you like. And if one falls off, just glue it back on. Sometimes these can fall off, but oh, look at that quality. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to add this. So there's the middle. I'm going to go up a few inches from the middle and place the stem in. And then you can just bend the leaves around. So we have one that sticks kind of up and one that bends around a little bit. And we'll do the same for the bottom. So I separated the peony so that I have the, the main flower and the bud. And this is why I like to order, when they have a stem, I like to order them if they at least have one other flower or a bud so that I can place the one in the middle and then bring that exact color up somewhere else in the wreath. It just really helps the wreath be really cohesive. And then I took the other leaves off and added a tulip trash stem or you can just keep the original stem. I'm gonna add this since we're missing a little, not missing, but we, we could use some greenery back here. I'm just gonna add the peony greenery right there. And the other one right in the middle. And you can stick the stem in straight and then you can bend the top however you like. Same goes for this. You stick it into the grapevine and then you bend it forward. So this is our focal point. I'd like it to be somewhat in the middle. So now that we've added all our greenery, I'm adding my main flower. So pretty. Since that's there, I'm going to add these and look how just they complement that. That brings that pink color up here. So I'll add this. going to add our peony bud just up here a little bit. And now before I add the other pieces in the middle, I'm going to add these and this just really brings another texture, another flower and brings the color around. Now I'm going to add in the sedum stems. And add one down here toward the bottom. And it really just adds a beautiful texture and interest. I love sedum. And then I'll add another one on top. And we'll add our white cabbage rose right there. And then just a little touch of drama with the black. I'm going to add one more pink flower up here. And 
there you have it isn't that gorgeous oh i love it and you can you can hang it like this you can hang it like this any way you want oh my gosh it's so pretty i love it and just you can keep fluffing with it can't help myself All right. I love how it turned out. Let me know what you think. And don't forget, I have a kit so you can make this exact wreath. All right. And also in my VIP group, I go into much more detail about how to pick out greenery and florals that go well together so you can make something really cohesive and really high-end looking. So if you're wanting to get into that, I'll have more information below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.